traders, hope you have a great start to the week. I'm on the dollar count, got my monthly, weekly, day support and resistance levels all drawn in there in the description below. I'll just discuss some of the closest to price action. Now the dollar CAD advanced back up to the 32.23 weekly resistance level last week and actually tested it once more yesterday. In the middle of this range at the moment, high time frame trend is down. As a trade it would be great if we could move back up to the top. Watch 132.23 again to be resistance this week for a move down to test day support 131.16 and can we move down and through to test weekly support at 130.78 high time frame trend is down so try to trade with the trend all right traders moving on to dollar franc having a rally from weekly support 85.69 just coming up to test the first level of monthly resistance at 86.99 Second level at 87.57. So this area here this week, does this area of resistance hold as resistance with the high time frame trend for a move back down to retest 85.69 weekly support? Of course, we've got the FMC statement coming out on Thursday early. So can the rally finish at the monthly resistance area for a further decline? All right, trade on to the dollar yen. Had a very nice advance from weekly support, 137.90 last week, moving above daily resistance at 140.44. That's the area to watch at the moment. Can we get a friendly pullback to support 140.44 to be support for then a move higher to challenge monthly resistance at 142.17? Okay, onto the euro pound. Had a strong advance last week, but the last part of the week we were holding at 86.58. Three days there, trading above, but getting met by the sellers. Just moved back below day support at the moment. Now, the advance may continue, but first of all, we need to get back above 86.36. Can that be intraday support for then a challenge to move above? 86.58 and can we target then towards 87.21 can that advance hold it is getting a lot of selling pressure at 86.58 and above so you don't want to be a buyer too close to that level can 86.36 become support this week for a move higher all right traders moving on to New Zealand again which is rather choppy ultimately last week this weekly high started to offer support even yesterday we traded down just below 87.30 and then came back above so Thursday Friday Monday getting support there it's not out of the question that we may come back down to this level again so watch 87.30 to be support this week can we move up to retest 88.16 which is a monthly high and can we move above that level can that level become support intraday for a longer term move up all right traders moving on to new zealand dollar last page review for today couldn't hold the gains had a heavy sell-off last week but we're still holding to an uptrend here higher bottom higher top are we forming a further higher bottom here to move higher just closing back above 6200 so this week will 6200 offer support for a move back above 6247 weekly resistance to 6247 become support this week and are we moving back up the range okay traders that's my analysis for today if you want to keep up to date with my analysis simply subscribe to the channel i look forward to seeing you next time now if you'd like to follow my forex trading analysis throughout the week, why not subscribe to the ACY Securities live interactive trading feed Telegram channel. Simply contact Nathan Bray at ACY.com to get access. Are you looking to improve your trading? Join Duncan Cooper, Senior Market Strategist and Trading Mentor at ACY Securities as he shares his knowledge on the global forex markets. The upcoming webinars for this week 
25th of July. Forex trading, live market analysis. During this webinar, Duncan will review 12 currency pairs, determine the key support and resistance trading levels for the week ahead, discuss his favorite risk to reward trading opportunity and answer your trading questions. 26th of July, identifying a simple trade setup using a trend line break and following a written trading plan. 27th of July, live Forex market review, identifying high probability trading levels. Don't miss these live interactive webinars that will help you improve your trading.